Hey Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. This will be a six card spread currently uh, checking in your energies uh, in regards to love, Scorpio. There will be an extended version and I will be doing the extended version based on how your person feels, what they are going through and how they're perceiving things on their end. So if you're interested in watching the extended, you'll find a link to that below. Thank you for all your kind likes, shares and subscribes. It really does mean a lot. Let's jump into the reading, Scorpio, and see what comes up. Next to you. Okay, you've come up as your sign with the death card. Okay, Scorpio, some interesting cards, two major arcana cards, which are quite powerful, the death card and judgment. So possibly the past, you may be feeling judged by the past or the past may be coming back. And it it's almost like it might be a test or something sent from the universe here towards you. And you'll have to make a judgment call. But the past is symbolic in the death card and also with the six of cups, which can often point to the past. Now, some of you either have someone coming in from the past that is very special to you, or Scorpio, the past is bringing itself up. It's resurfacing around you and your special person. You may be feeling that history is repeating itself here. Behaviors, conversations, tendencies. And in some ways, you're rather fearful about it. It's causing a bit of anxiety here for you. It's a bit of uncertainty. You're going into something, you feel perhaps that you're going into something blindly. Now, you do have a judgment call. So I'm wondering if a part of you feels like you're agreeing to something that isn't necessarily true to who you are. Because, you know, this figure technically has his back towards the ace. So it's almost like you potentially, which you are as the death card, Turning your back on, on an opportunity to counteract or change whatever it is that's going on here. But for some reason, I think you're acting coy. And I say coy because there's children in the cards, quite a few of them. Um, and the children are known to be quite coy, live in the moment, not be plagued too much by the um, stresses and anxieties that we face. So, I mean, it could be immaturity, perhaps. There could be something... You know, there's more children here, but you could you you could feel somewhat helpless in a situation. See how they're sort of void of energy. You could be feeling helpless. You want you know you're wishing for something, you want it, but you don't see how it's going to come about. Now this can be thoughts and fantasies and wishes. But I think your approach here, because you are approaching the judgment card, but with all these children in the cards, I'm wondering, it's either you might be brushing off something happening in love, okay, something that may bother you, but you seem to be brushing it off, and in turn, you may feel judged, okay, there's judgment going on here, you might be judging your person, you might be judging their actions, Maybe you feel like they are judging you in a way. But the Eight of Swords is suppressed and sometimes the death card can be subconscious. So really what's going on externally and what's going on in your subconscious are two very different things. You know, because if this is you as the cups, I mean, ultimately you're going to get to a place where you're going to be feeling really good. But I wonder to get to that nine, you're going to have to cross these other cards. So... Maybe there's a conflict here between head and heart, Scorpio, perhaps. Okay, this is how you're feeling. You're feeling hopeful. Uh, you're feeling like you're so connected. You're feeling like this person is the one, but then your mind is telling you otherwise. It's clouded judgment. It's not seeing a future, perhaps not seeing your vision of the two of you together. It could even be self-sabotaging thoughts. So Scorpio, you need to shift this. These self-sabotaging thoughts are not helping the situation. I don't know if this is the past that's coming back in and you sort of don't know what to expect. 
I might throw you off a bit. I feel like the angel coming is a bit of a surprise, Scorpio, so you may be surprised. I think it could be a pleasant surprise, though. Um, there's also things that you may have to change. There's an opportunity here for transformation around you somehow in love. Um, a cycle ending, a new beginning, change, metamorphosis, growth. Okay, the children are developmental. So there's a lesson here for you. A lesson that is very um, pivotal to your connection. A lesson that can very much move you forward. So if it's not the past, it can be transformation and new beginnings with the death card. There might be a message that you may feel judged on, okay? That the angel is an intermediary, it's a messenger. So it may be a text, it may be a comment, it may be a judgment your special person makes. I don't know if it's directly about you, perhaps about your relationship, but that may occur. And... It may not necessarily, I mean, it may throw you off a bit, but it could even be like a pleasant surprise because they welcome, you can see this family, they embrace the angel and what the angel has to say. So it could be that someone says something and you don't want to hear it, Scorpio, okay? Could be, I mean, I'm not seeing much ego here, but it could be that, okay? It could be that you refuse to see or where they're coming from. You refuse to sort of, let their words sink in. So maybe you're hearing them. They're saying what they need to say. They've been communicating this for quite some time. But maybe you haven't been as open to changing your ways. Maybe this is someone that wants you to change their way, change your ways for them and your relationship. Obviously, if it's something that's causing, you know, death and damage to the connection, then absolutely yes. You know, if this if this love is really important for you, Scorpio, then I think people have the potential to change for the things and the people that they love. Could be vice versa, could be re reversed here and you're making a judgment call, but you're coming up with your energy, which is quite powerful. Or if there is a judgment that you need to make, Scorpio, you might mask it um, with the Six of Cups. You know, there's a sweetness, there's a romanticism with the Six of Cups. So maybe you need to let someone know, but let them know gently, Scorpio, you know, you're um, your words can hurt. If you intend to hurt someone, you will definitely do it, okay? If the intention is there, you will sting them, and you will sting them where it hurts. So maybe, I don't know if this is sort of masking things a little bit so they don't, they don't sound as, as intense or dramatic or hurtful. Because it's like one of you won't see it coming type thing. But I mean, look at these cards. You've got the Nine of Cups, the Six of Cups, and then the Eight of Swords that sort of separates it. So maybe this is unnecessary stress. But if there's something you're unsure about, Scorpio, you may communicate it and say it, and then you'll find that all your, all your cups are in a row here. And it could definitely be, you know, you've got the Ace of Wands. This is a new beginning from the universe. God, okay, um... And you've got that to re you've got the ability or the potential to restart something. So there's there's potential that we're seeing here. Ace of Wands can be like a phallic symbol and can be, you know, things might be driven by lust for a lot of you. You know, lusting after something, lusting after change. You know, be careful with that because it's a very tempting. Uh, but hopefully there was something here that I've said that could help your situation, Scorpio. Of course, I understand that this is a general reading and, and it's not going to appeal to everyone. But hopefully there is something here um, and you have enjoyed this content. If you have, please feel free to leave behind a like, share or subscribe. Um, and you can join me for the extended version now via the link below. Otherwise, much love, take care and until next time, bye for now.